first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honors to the elder apostles of Great Moon. So that taught me this truth and those of you that are in the Holy Spirit and that are striving to remain in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. This lesson, it's going to be a quite of, of a serious lesson. Okay. Just warning the brothers of if you're not sounding the doctrine, it'd be the right thing would be to not watch all these other camps. Because all that's going to do is confuse you if you're not grounded. Okay. So without further ado, we're going to go to Acts 13 and we're going to go into that sorcerer. Okay. That was trying to bewitch the deputy. Start off on Acts and we're going to go straight to 13. All right. This is Acts 13 and we're going to jump straight to verse 4. And so they being set forth, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, not ghosts, the Holy Spirit, okay, departed unto Cilicia, and from thence sailed to Cyprus, okay. And when they were at Salimis, okay, they preached the word of Yahweh Yahweh in the synagogues of the Jews. So that shows you there were synagogues everywhere scattered across the globe, right? And they had also John to rare minister okay and when they had gone through the, uh, the isles onto Paphos find out where Paphos is right I believe it's Cyprus Paphos right Strong's G 3974 Paphos 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 to mean equal boiling hot to maritime city on the west end of Cyprus with a harbour okay for the ships it was the residence of a Roman Pro Consul from old Paphos was noted for the worship of the shrine of Venus, which goes into what women adultery not adultery, but actually it is adultery, spiritually adultery, right? Which goes into what Aphrodite, which is what woman worship, idols, and a some seven miles, ten kilometers to the southeast of it. So basically, it was in Cyprus, all right. So we're going to get to it. Okay. And when they had gone through the aisle onto, what's it, Paphos, they found a certain, a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bar Jesus. So now we're going to go into that word sorcerer. See what comes up. Strong's G, 3097. Magas. 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 Okay, we get that word, what, Magai. Okay. And it goes straight into a false prophet, a sorcerer. Okay. Dream augurs or augurators, soothsayers, sorcerer. And his job was, his lot was to deceive. Okay. So he was a prophet. But he was a false prophet. He was a sorcerer. Right. And let's further read on what he was doing. And I want to go into that name by Jesus just to see what it means. It just says a certain false prophet. Okay. So let's further continue. Okay. And it says which was the which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man. So this was a studied man, and he wanted to know more about the faith, and he called for Barnabas. Okay. When you go into Barnabas and Sal, Sal was poor, and Barnabas was what the helper of what Sal, okay, to hear the word of the Most High. So he was inquiring, he wanted to hear, he was a prudent man, and this is an officer, this is a deputy, right? But Elemas, the sorcerer, okay, for so is his name by interpretation, right? Type in that word, or Elemas, same thing. Uh, so called wise man, a wizard, <laughs> a wizard, right? So, Elemas the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood Rem, withstood 
Rem seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. So he was trying to stop the deputy from listening to who? Paul and Barnabas. And when you go into withstand, quickly type in that word. We need to get into all these words. Strong's G 436. And fist me. And fist me. And it says to set oneself against. So he was he was opposed to the truth. He was trying to stop. Okay. This deputy from learning about the truth by being what converted to the truth. To set oneself against, to withstand, to resist, to oppose. So this would make him what? A devil. This would make him Satan. So men that are trying to oppose the truth, they're Satan. But let's continue. Man. And it says, enemies, them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. So you've got spirits that are set up to try and turn you away from your faith. And these are known as seducing spirits. That's why you've got to be strong. And as you can see by the image, right? Bear me just a minute. As you can see by the image, okay we got that word agnostic right and what's the agnostic these individuals they're very agnostic as well someone who is doubtful or non-committal about something so when you have doubts about this truth and particular things in the doctrine that's where those that have them seducing spirits upon them that's where they come in because if you don't really know about the truth right if you're not really studying then you're more susceptible to what them seducing spirits that's why the scripture says study to show thyself approved you can't be doubting the doctrine agnostic a person who claims that they cannot have true knowledge about the existence of the most high but does not deny the most high exists so these are doubters all right and what is satan use another tool is doubt right is there anything else uncertain of all claims or knowledge so someone that basically just they don't they don't believe in anything right just doubtful but you have our own people. They're like that. You think it's just easy. So you have our own people. I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in there's no power. Because they're fools. And the scripture says the fool have said in his heart that there is no God. I believe that's in what? Psalm 14. So let's continue back on Acts. Have to get into these scriptures. Now we're on verse 9. When Sal, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, set his eyes on him. Immediately, when Paul saw that, he set his eyes, okay, he was filled with the Holy Spirit, set his eyes on him, this witch, this warlock, right? And said, oh, full of all subtlety, trickiness, craftiness, and all mischief, thou child of the devil, right? So Paul was rebuking that spirit, thou enemy of all righteousness, right? Because if you're coming, if you're trying to stop if you're set up to try and stop those from getting the truth, you're an enemy of righteousness. Will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now we're going to go into that word pervert and see what comes up. Strong's G 1294. Diastrepho. 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 And look what comes up on the outline biblical usage. To distort. So you have those, they were going to try to distort the message. How? By teaching you something that's what? Outside of what you've been taught. To turn aside. To turn you aside from the truth. To oppose. So these individuals, they're opposing Yahweh. That's why the scripture says in John, there be many anti mashiachs many. To plot against. The saving purposes. So when it says the saving purposes and plans of the Most High, because Yahweh he already has an elect. And he already has what? His elect that are going to be saved. And plans of the Most High. So you have those that are working against, trying to work against the plans of Yahweh Yahweh But everybody is in Yahweh movie. So you can't really work against the plan. Because it's Yahweh Shai that that controls everything. Right? To turn aside from the right path. To pervert. To corrupt. So you have injuries that are set up. And this is what this... What's it, what was his name? Elimaeus was set up to do. Okay, this was a wicked spirit. Okay. And now behold, the hand of the Lord Jehovah is upon thee. Put a curse on him. And you can do that. If you know someone that's trying to divert you from the truth, or trying to stop you from getting to Yahweh Shai, you have all your rights to put a curse on this individual continually. 
right? And thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun, right? For a season, and immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. So that's Paul. What cursing this? What witch? This warlock that was trying to stop the deputy from what learning this faith, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand, and that's so spiritual because he tried. He was trying to deceive this other individual, but what Paul? Okay, cursed him out. And he was what seeking some to lead him by the hand. So he was blind physically. Okay. When the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed. So that all needed to happen. So just by this deputy can be what converted to the faith. Being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. And key thing, doctrine. At the doctrine, there's only one doctrine. And that's the whole premise of this lesson. There's one doctrine. Right? And a doctrine, you may say, well, what does it entail of? The 12 tribes strong. The so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Indianos. Yes, they're Israelites. Okay? And not black. There's no such nation as black. Right? They come in different shades of brown. Some light or some, some darker. Right? And you have Israelite foreigners. That's a part of the doctrine. Not, all, not everybody can make it. Right? Only salvation is only for the 12 tribes of Israel. It's exclusive. That's a part of the doctrine. We don't believe in a flat earth. That's not a part of the doctrine. We don't believe in everybody can make it. That's not a part of the doctrine. That's why you need that's why the scriptures study to show that self approved. Right? So now we were done with rap. Okay. And I'm doing these lessons for the brothers and sisters. I'm I'm taking up my time to do these lessons for the brothers and sisters. Okay. So it won't be so easily what caught out. Because these spirits, these wicked spirits, they operate on those that they don't know particular things. They're not well studied. But that's why the basics are fundamentals. Just learn the basics and work your way up. So now, bear me just a minute. And the Lord hates that as well. Let's quickly go to Proverbs 6 and 19. Because what that individual was doing is what's mentioned in Proverbs 6 and... Yes, 16. These things that the Lord, Jehovah hate... So Yahavashai, he's making a clear blueprint on what he hates. Year 7, an abomination unto him. Right? A proud look. Someone with a proud look, an arrogant look, smug look. A lying tongue. Some of that lies all the time. Okay? And that individual, he had a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood that spilt a cane. Okay? You hate your brother. Okay? And a heart that divides with wicked imaginations, right? You're scheming, you're plotting, you're devising wicked thoughts. Feet that be swift into running into mischief. And Paul, he put a curse on him. He said, "What a son of what all of the devil and what all mischief, right? A false witness that speaketh lies. Men that tell lies and want to bear false witness. And he that soweth discord among the brethren. And that's exactly what Alamias was doing, right? His name by what interpretation? So now, let's go to Romans. I want to get it in the right order. Rome, we got Romans 16, and we got that vain Babylon as well. Let's go to Romans 16. Okay. Straight to Romans 16. Let's get into this. That's why discernment is one of the most um, powerful gifts you can have discernment to be able to discern these things. Because you might believe in something, a doctrine that's completely off, a false doctrine. So it, it really does take discernment and that's a blessing if you've been given that. Let's go to Romans 16 and let's go to 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them, which cause divisions. Right? Mark, that word for mark is scopeo. So you put a scope on them. Right, that cause divisions. Okay, let me just a minute. that cause division and offense is contrary to the doctrine. That keyword doctrine, not doctrines. Because if someone's telling you doctrines, then obviously that individual is confused. There is doctrines out there, but they're false doctrines. There's only one doctrine. Doctrine means one, one way of life, one way of worship. Okay, which you have learned. Because there was a particular thing we learned, and there's only one doctrine, and avoid them. 
so you break off on them you avoid these individuals you don't go back and forth with them and say well they're Israelites you know so you know can't we all get together no for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Mashiach they're not serving Yahweh because they're not walking in the ways of Yahweh they're not teaching his doctrine but their own belly okay but their own belly that's what they're serving let's type in that word belly The innermost part of man, the soul of heart, as a seat of thought, they're serving their own minds, their own appetites, right? Their own greed, their own lust. Okay. Which you have learned and avoid them. For they such not our Lord, but their own belly. And, this, and here it is, and by good words, good words. Okay, things you want to hear. Let's type in this. Christ Talagali. Christ Talagali Gia. So a bit of a bit of a mouthful there. A, f a fair speaking, the smooth and plausible address which simulates goodness. So it's in a particular way where it's very plausible. They have the gift of gab, they call it. Alright? They're like they're like um what you know as like motivational, you know these motivational good speakers, right? Just like the churches, it's the same thing. This is why there's levels to this truth. Okay, and fair speeches. Go into that word fair speeches. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. In the bad sense. Right? Language artfully. Artfully goes into craft. Cunning craft. Adapted to captivate the hearer. That's a seducing spirit. That's a witch. That's a warlock. Let's read that again in a bad sense. Language artfully. So it's said in a particular way. Men teach in a particular way. A smooth way to capture you. Right? Adapted to captivate the hearer. Fair speaking. Fine speeches. What does this remind you of? The churches. Creflo Dada. T.D. Jakes. Well it's the same thing within this truth. You're going to have that. False prophets. And the fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple because they never knew any better. They were simple. And you go into that word simple. What is it? Gullible. Um, yeah, gullible. Unsuspecting. Right? And that's what happens. Okay. But that's why these lessons are being done. So the simple would be able to what? See and avoid these things, these pitfalls. Okay. And they were going to use what? Vain words. If someone's always talking more than the scriptures come out, red light. If they're always talking, obviously we talk because we have to expound on the scriptures we're bringing out. But if someone's doing more talking, read the scriptures, mm -mm, that's a red light. Quickly go to, and we're going to tell you why it's a red light. Okay. Because Jeremiah 17 and 9, what does it say? Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. So the own mind, okay, our own mind, it says it's deceitful above all things, everything, right? And desperately wicked, who can know it? So what would be the wisest thing to do? You filter it through the scriptures. Because not every thought you have is going to be correct all throughout the day, right? you got them right hand thoughts and you got them left hand thoughts. The left hand thoughts, that comes from the devil. The right hand thoughts, what? that's them angels telling you, stay on the right path. Right? That's why the scriptures are so important. But men don't do that. That's why what they give heed to what these spirits and believe in different philosophies. And they always talk about, oh, well, this is my opinion. To hell with your opinion. Right? To hell with your opinion. So bear me just a minute. I like doing lessons like this because even lessons like this they even help me. Okay. Now let's go to vain ramblings. And to be I don't watch these other groups. Stop doing that years ago. Well, what's the need? You may watch a group because you may want to see, well, what are they teaching? Are they teaching the correct thing? And that should be the only reason. If they're teaching something off the scripture says avoid them. Now let's go to first Timothy six. 
and two and sixteen. All right, two and sixteen. So this is some heavy stuff. This truth is so serious. There's levels to this. Let's go to Second Timothy's two and sixteen. Start up. There's a lot. 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 Start at fourteen of these things. Put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. And the key title of this scripture it says Babylon to be avoided. Okay. And that may be the name of the lesson. Maybe just a minute. Of these things before the Lord that they strive not about with words to no profit. So someone that's striving with words to no profit would be someone that's not bringing out the words of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. That's words of no profit. But to subverting of hearers. So we want, want to use words of the subverting of what the hearers. Through what the truth. The study to show that's of approved, acceptable. Unto the most I work when that need if not to be ashamed because now you know what you're speaking about. Rightly dividing the word of truth, rightly. Precept upon precept, line upon hair, there a little, here a little. When I first heard about this truth, I was reading it just in paragraphs. Then the brother said, No, you can't read it like that. You go from what precept upon precept. Then you find different parts of what the puzzle and it all makes sense. But shun profane. Here we go. Shun profane and vain. Babylon. So vain babylons will lead to what profanity, because it's not what goes out. It's not what what's it goes out of a man, but it's what come. So I forgot what how it goes now. It's what comes out of a man. Yes, what comes out. It's not what goes in, but what goes out. And what comes out is a manifestation of what's already went, went in, right? And it says ungodly of men, ungodly. Okay. So profane and vain babbling. So let's type in that word vain babbling. Someone that's always talking more than the scriptures come out. Vain babblings. Let's go. Strong's G twenty seven fifty seven. Canaphonia. 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 It says empty discussion. So when you get men, when a man starts a lesson, it shouldn't be five minutes in and you're still trying to figure out, well, where's he going with this? Okay. Empty discussion, discussion of vain and useless matters, a fruitless discussion, an empty sound. So Yahweh, he was very straight to the point. And that's how we're supposed to be. But this is what happens when you lean on your own understanding and you just want to be hurt. Scripture says that you have some that will try to draw what disciples after themselves. And their words will eat as doth a kanka. What's canker? I believe canker. What is it? Rust? Canker. Oh. Let's look up this. Bear me just a minute. Strong's G, 1044. Gangrena. 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 And what does that sound like? Gangrene. And what does gangrene do? It spreads. It says it a gangrene, a disease by which any part of the body suffering from inflammation becomes so corrupted, unless a remedy be seasonable, apply it. The evil continually spreads and you've seen that with people i've seen particular people they have like this fungus on their their foot swell up and they may have like a gangrene if it spreads their body parts need to be cut off why did that say you have people with missing feet and yes so a man that's just speaking his own words speaking his own words is dangerous because what that evil continues what to spread and attacks other parts and at the last eats away at the bones so these are what? These are seducing spirits. This is what? Look up the words. Get into your words. Study. Okay. And we'll eat the as a canker of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus. Okay. That were resisting what the truth. Who concerning the truth have aired. If went aside saying that the resurrection is past. Okay. Because they believed. A lot of people believe. You have them Old Testament Israelites that believe. When Yahavashai came on the scene. That was it. Well, that, that was the resurrection now. That was when Yahavashah came on the scene. Okay. And he was resurrected. They believed that's it. Right. And now that's why you've got people that believe this is the kingdom. After he died and he was resurrected. They believed that was it. Right. The resurrection is past already. And, and overthrow the faith of some. You see. Them wicked spirits. 
to overthrow, to overturn, to destroy, to subvert their minds in the wicked purpose. Right? These are wicked spirits. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having this seal. Okay, the Lord Jehovah shall knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Mashiach depart from iniquity. Okay, hope this is the fine. A few more scriptures and we're going to shut off. Alright, shut off on this. Perfect. Let's go to Isaiah 8 and 20. I wasn't too sure how this lesson was going to go. Go to Isaiah 8 and 20. Watch out for these things. If nobody, look, if if someone's bringing out something and they're just talking and they can't get it in the scriptures, stop listening to that individual. Because he's, he's chatting mumbo jumbo. Right? Let's go to Isaiah 8 and 20. Alright? To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So if a man, he's bringing up the scriptures, he's not breaking it down, or he's doing more talking than the scriptures come out, it's because there is no light in him. Right? Anything, example, if I bring up Revelations 13 and 16, I'm going to let you know it's the chip. And I'm going to prove it through the scriptures. You cannot buy or sell receive a mark, until they receive a mark in their forehead. If I, if I um, talk about, what's another example? Um, what happens to you when you die? I'm going to go to Job where it talks about there's one place what underneath heaven where judgment is. Go and break it down. Right? Everything. If a man can't back up anything, if he can't validate it through the scripture, he's chatting nonsense. Right? So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And yes, avoid, avoid vain babbling. Alright, until the next time, Shalom.